Please catch Adam was doing the countdown, and across the way, Luciana. And Luciana is, uh, is uh, the Liverpool students up at the uh, Clog School. And with, with your teachers, Damien Byrne is with us. Damien, you're very welcome. Thank you, Roland. And uh, we have Anthony Crozier, a man of road safety provenance. <laughs> A new nice. pilot scheme, uh, Anthony. Yeah, it's a, a new scheme to Northern Ireland. Now, he's saying that it's been operating in England uh, for quite a number of years and in the south as well. And as I say, it's a brand new scheme for Northern Ireland. Initially, we have 20 schools on board at the moment. When you say we, who do you mean? Well, sorry, the Department of the Environment. I should know that, I, I, yeah. I, I am a road safety education officer. Well, God bless you for there that. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, obviously, the idea, Rome, is to uh, get more uh, take up from the schools. Yeah, you were, where, where did the idea? You, when, when did you first hear of the idea, David? Well, we would have received notification from the department uh, encouraging us to take part in this yeah. scheme. And obviously, the road safety been such an important life skill. Mm. We felt you know it was another tool to help us to promote good Absolutely. road safety skills. So Absolutely. we thought we'd give it a try. Mm. Yeah, what was it about this particular scheme that uh, caught your imagination? Uh, well, I think it's the Damien. fact that the, ch the children are sort of taking an active role in their in their own learning, and they are promoting the whole road safety mm -hmm. message. And I think that's very effective in getting across to the other children. Yeah. But I think it's also a great opportunity for the children themselves, who are the junior road safety officers. And they're the junior road safety, the junior officer. road safety yes. officers. Yes. Are you a road safety officer? <laughs> wow! Well, come over here to me. Come a bit closer because we'll use one mic. I've now, I'm going to ask you about that. Just stand there. There you're fine. Uh, Adam, you're a road safety officer at the school, yes? Yeah. yeah. What does that entail? Um, well, it you would like organise competitions for people and there would be certificates given out. Mm. Are your colleagues in the school very road safety aware? Well, that's what we have to make sure. Yeah. Wow, that's a good answer. <laughs> good and how are you going to do that? Um, well, we'd go around the classes maybe and give reminders like when dark comes, like. What's it? Oh, when dark comes, yes, at night. In the night, yeah. When you're what walking. should I do at night time, if, if, if from a road safety point of view? Um, wear bright reflective and fluorescent colours, like a reflective jacket. Hmm, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what else should I be thinking of? Um, well, be careful about like where you're walking. I wouldn't be walking on the road, keep, try and keep on a footpath. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you sometimes have bold people who park their cars on footpaths. And <laughs> um, well, try and avoid them. <laughs> try and avoid them. You're, a, you're in, in clog school. Yep. What are you going to be when you leave clog, clog school? Um, PE teacher. A PE teacher. You've got the right size. We'll go back and sit down there and we'll talk to you, Luciana, in a moment. So you right next to the moment. So what did you find then when you came to Clog School? Uh, there was a great enthusiasm obviously there, Anthony. They were all wanting to do it. Mm -hmm. It was an easy enough sell. They were, uh, yeah, so, well, you were pushing an open door. Well, yeah, basically, uh, obviously Clog Primary School has been proactive uh, in road safety over the years and they take part in the various seller schemes that we are involved in. Um, uh, cycling proficiency is an odd scheme. You, every, I think everybody in, no, in Northern Ireland is aware of that one <coughs> because it has been going on for years and years. Um, but uh, as I say, it was an easy sale as far as this scheme yeah, is concerned yeah. because the, the, the school, as I said, are being proactive in road safety. What, what We used to have the Green Cross Code. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it played its part. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we were trying to, as, as uh, Adam said there, uh, about the young people taking the responsibility themselves to promote mm -hmm. road safety within the schools and it's keeping road safety uh, high uh, on the priorities within the school environment and of course uh, the children are more likely to take it from their peers just as Adam and Luciana. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh -huh. from that point of view it's a fantastic scheme. Damien, there's a lot of pressure on the school curriculum there a is. Lot of, it's not easy, you know, and you're taking mm. time out to do this. But this is an indicator of how seriously well, you're taking Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, uh, road safety is one of those issues that affects us all, you know, f mm. whatever stage of life we're at. And, you know, if we can promote and, you know, push the, the positive road safety message, mm. I think, you know, it's key. Mm. And we would, you know, include that under our PDM and AMU. What is PDMMU? PD, personal Development and Mutual Understanding. Wow. And road, road safety would be a big, big part of that. Big there. Mm. Because you know, you'll, you'll grow up and you'll grow up and you'll be getting a car and what you're learning now is a, is a foundation, I suppose. I suppose it's a life skill. A life skill. Good. 
That's that's wonderful to, to hear that. The cycling proficiency uh, is there as well, Damien. Yeah, that, sort of after Crip, well, around Easter time it would start, and in the summer time when the weather hopefully is a bit mm -hmm. better. And again, it would be open to P7 children in Clog Primary School, and yeah. we would we'd run for maybe 10 weeks, and then they'd have a test at the end uh -huh. of it, theory and practical. That's great. Course. Mm -hmm. no, again, that's, it's that's promoting huge. it, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. pushing the positive yeah. road safety message. Anthony, how great is the problem of poor road safety among young people today? Well, it's, it's still there. It's, it's, it's getting better, and that's obviously the reason why we're involved in the schools, because of the high uh, fatalities, and uh, as you know, the, the, for instance, um, this year so far there's 53 fatalities. 53? Three, and that's up on... That's uh, general fatalities. That's general, just yeah. within Northern Ireland. Um, but the ones we tend to forget about are the hundreds that are seriously injured. Yes. They, they're the ones that don't... People that won't make walk again. Yeah, exactly. And of course, uh, that runs into the hundreds. Mm -hmm. And of course, their lives are ruined. Yeah. Their family lives are affected as well. Absolutely. And their friends. And uh, as I say, anything that we can get into schools and get them young, and th therefore, hopefully, and change their behaviour when they come up, young adults. Yeah. Right Damien, it's it, our, 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 uh, Anthony. It's it's very reassuring, mm. uh, very uh, encouraging to know that government mm -hmm. is prioritising this. Mm -hmm. You're not just a grey place somewhere away on the horizon. Mm -hmm. You're reaching into our town, our city, mm -hmm. and you're making your presence felt in a very real way. Well, that's exactly, and hopefully uh, we're promoting uh, good behaviour down the line, and that hopefully will have an effect on the less road deaths, less uh, serious yeah. injuries. Uh, the actual content of the course, uh, the, 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 the students themselves will be out mentoring other students and all of that, yes. but is there a practical end to it as well? Well, the practical end uh, comes in uh, the competitions and things like that that they would do throughout the school year. Uh -huh. um, Adam mentioned about this time of year about uh, being safe, being seen on the roads. Uh, there be also to do with seat belts, also uh, to do with, uh, as you mentioned earlier, the Green Cross Code and, yeah. putting, and getting looking the young ones. Exactly. Looking to the left and the right exactly. and the right again, just keeping everything, keeping everything going there. Luciana, come over and talk to me here. We'll see where you are. Are you there? Hello, calling Luciana, <laughs> calling Luciana, over. Calling Luciana, Luciana, are you there? Over. Yeah, yeah, she says. <laughs> and I asked you before we come up with a lovely name like Luciana. You've got, to, you've got to have a, a Italian ancestry. Yeah, my dad is Italian. Wow, which part of Italy? Um, he was born in Lake Garda. Lake Garda. Everybody goes there for holidays. <laughs> So I come there, I go there to see my grandma. Ah, isn't that lovely? Uh -huh. And do you like Italian food? Yeah, yeah, I what love you, it. What's best that you like? Pasta. Pasta? Pasta, <laughs> Pasta yeah. with what? Bolognese. Pasta with bolognese. Uh -huh. Would you put some meat in that? No, not really. What about pizza? Really. Yeah. Pizza's good as well. Uh -huh. Can you bake a pizza? No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to learn. You'll have to learn. So what's it like being at clogged school? I like it though, yeah. It's, it's, it's fun when you're learning, so it's quite That's the whole secret, it's enjoyable, isn't it? yeah. If you're, if you're having fun when you're uh, learning, it's all working. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what's your role in the school? You're a member of the council. What is that it's GRSO? A student council, I'm, I'm, and I'm the junior road safety officer. You're the junior road safety officer. Do you get a uniform for that? <laughs> no. No, but you get a badge. Yeah, I get a badge. Yeah. Now, how are you going to execute your duties? Um, I'm not too sure, really. Will you go around just, and talk to people? Yeah, and we'll set up competitions, as Adam said. Yeah. Will you be allowed to have a, to scold people who are behaving <laughs> badly? No, but we'll try and encourage <laughs> them. That's a pity. We'll Encouragement's <laughs> all right, but a good scolding actually is much better, maybe. Yeah, but we'll try and encourage them to do better. Oh, right. uh, you. You want to join a political party, uh, say the Alliance Party or the United Nations, that's sort of nice, oh, you know. You're, you're a very good lady, you're a very good girl. And what are you studying at school? Um, well, everything. Everything. Really. Have you any idea what you want to be when you grow up? A lawyer or a singer. A lawyer or a singer? Yeah. And can you sing? Let me hear you sing something. Would you, would you help me sing? Tell me, how would I sing? Uh, uh, do you know a Christmas song, Silent Night, just a, a verse of it? One, two, three. Silent 
silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. You could be a singer. You could be a singer. And I will see how, we'll see how good you'd be at being a lawyer, okay? We'll try that. Hello, uh, silence in court, please. Uh, would the lawyer, would the solicitor for Johnny Smith please uh, come forward? Uh, what, what are you pleading in this case? That, um, he is innocent and he hasn't done nothing wrong. <laughs> He's done nothing wrong? Yeah. 22 people saw, saw him break the window. Yeah, well, I, that's an objection. Ah, that's an objection, you got it. You could be a lawyer as well. Go and sit down there, you're great. Ah, oh, sure. It's, isn't it wonderful? Uh, Aren't they very much? Yeah. But you must be really chuffed to be able to come to schools and bring this life-saving program to them, because that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is, and hopefully it change their lives. And they'll be passing it on to yeah. those they know and whatever mm -hmm. else. So when does it all start? Well, it has started already now. Is say the children have run a competition <laughs> among the other children in the club in school, be safe, be seen, where yeah. the children had the other children had to be design and create posters. And then Luciana and Adam had to uh, judge the competition, pick winners, award certificates, and now they have set up a beautiful display area in the wow. school, promoting that's the good, good work that's going on in the school in road safety. So you know, and I suppose it's not just the children, but the whole school community is getting the message then. Absolutely, you know, so taking it home, taking it home it's exactly in the house then mm -hmm. as well. Damien, Anthony, Adam, Luciana, thank you so much for coming in. You're very, very good, and. Uh, It'll be lovely to see a better Northern Ireland road safety situation mm -hmm. for young people as a result of all your efforts. We'll play some music now, shall That's we? Fine. Thanks very much. Music's Thank you.